BTEC Applied Science Unit 5, still with the thermal physics topic C1. Uh, and this video is about the first law of thermodynamics. Uh, later on, we'll talk about the second law. This video is about the first law, the first law of thermodynamics. What's that then? Well, here we go. So here's a gas, a gas in a container. And this gas has a certain amount of thermal energy. And we call it its internal energy. And it has the symbol U, capital U, internal energy U. Now, what we're talking about is the gas is made up of lots and lots of particles. And they're whizzing around. They all have a certain amount of kinetic energy. And so if you add together all of these kinetic energies, that's that's how much energy there is inside the gas. It's the kinetic energy uh, of all of the particles of the gas. It's called its internal energy, the sum of the kinetic energies of its particles. Now, there are two ways that the internal energy of a gas might change. There are two ways. The first way is, as we shall see, is if it gains or loses heat. The second way is if it does work or we do work to it. So first of all, it may gain or lose heat. So if we give some heat to the gas, if we heat it up, for example, if my container of gas, I put it uh, above a Bunsen burner. So heat is Q, capital Q is heat. And in this case, the gas is given heat energy and it will get hotter. Yeah, its temperature will be bigger. Its particles will be moving around faster and its internal energy will increase. Uh, it may lose heat energy. It may lose heat energy to its surroundings. And if it loses heat energy, then its temperature will get less. Its particles will move slower. And so it's losing heat energy Q. So heat Q is energy on the move. OK, thermal energy on the move is Q heat. And it can either gain heat energy, its internal energy gets bigger. It can lose heat energy, its internal energy gets smaller. The second way is to do with work. Now, the gas might do work. I've done another video which is all about work done by a gas. For example, the gas in this cylinder might push the piston upwards, like in a, an internal combustion engine. And as this gas expands, it does work. OK, and if it does work, its internal energy will get smaller. So uh, if the gas does work, its internal energy gets less. Alternatively, uh, we could do work on the gas. We might compress the gas. And if we do work on the gas, if we squash the gas, its internal energy will increase. It'll actually get hotter. If you squash a gas, it gets hotter. So uh, if the gas does work or we do work to the gas, its internal energy will change. And this is the first law of thermodynamics. Q, which is heat given to the gas, equals delta U, which is the change in internal energy, plus W, which is work done by the gas. It's actually just conservation of energy. If we give the gas energy, then that energy has to do something. OK, it has to either increase the internal energy or the gas does work. It's conservation of energy is all it is. Uh, for example, uh, Q equals delta U. What I'm saying there is if you give the gas heat energy and if it doesn't do any work, then its internal energy will get bigger. Um, if the heat energy stays the same, you might remember on the, the work done by a gas, if it's adiabatic, if, if, if it's adiabatic, then Q equals zero, and it just becomes zero is delta U plus W. And so if the gas does work, okay, so if that is positive, then that delta U must be negative, because both of them together equal zero. 
So if the gas does work, then its internal energy will decrease. Um, you probably won't get a question where you have to work these out, I think. It's more about the questions I've seen are more about understanding it, what the different terms in the equation mean. Uh, for example, what does delta U represent in this equation? Well, it's the change in internal energy of the gas. Uh, the air in a bicycle pump is compressed. Explain why it gets hotter, because we are doing work to the gas, we are doing work on the gas, and so its internal energy is increasing, so it's getting hotter. What happens to the internal energy of the air in a fridge when it's turned on? Well, it, the, it, the fridge gets colder, so its internal energy must be getting smaller. The, the motor of the fridge, we'll talk about this later in a different video, is doing work. Uh, what are the two ways that the internal energy of a gas might increase? Uh, well, that is if we do work on the gas or if we give it heat energy 